So we start at Lambeau Field with the annual shareholders meeting and a similar sized crowd as last year. That's right. The whole area really around the stadium is buzzing. Packers leaders detailed record profits and big plans to thousands of team owners today. Fox 11's Bill Miston was there and he joins us now live outside of Lambeau Field. And Bill, what did the shareholders and the team have to say today? You know, Michelle, the team saw record profits and shareholders say that means the team, their team, is on the right track. No, it's not game day. Roughly 13,000 Packers shareholders filled a portion of Lambeau Field's bowl to hear the state of their NFL franchise. Last year, the Packers brought in more than $54 million in operational profit, up from last year. During the same time, net income rose by about $400,000. The team also told shareholders its total corporate revenue increased to more than a quarter of a billion dollars. That's up by more than $40 million from the previous year. Total corporate revenue is made up of stocks, bonds, and other investments. You know, the fans are there. The demand is there. Before the meeting, some owners had to prepare, like Kevin Diamond of Elmhurst, Illinois. Diamond says the work the team is doing to improve the stadium and the fan experience is a good thing. We need to compete against the New York's, you know, the bigger franchises, and having this small community and being able to pull this type of profit, you can see that this is a very well-run organization. We were through the years when, uh, when they were very tough. Shareholder Ken Schneider is also a season ticket holder. Schneider says he's pleased with what the team is doing, even after the team raised ticket prices between two and five dollars. They'll now spend between seventy-four and ninety-seven dollars for a seat at face value. Schneider says that shows there's demand and something's being done right. Now it's to the point where keep it coming and uh, keep getting your excellent players like we're doing. Packers president and CEO Mark Murphy says improvements made to the stadium over the last year like better sound systems, scoreboards and north and south end zone improvements will help fans enjoy game day even more. He says current projects like the Oneida Gate players parking lot expansion, new pro shop and moving the Packers Hall of Fame are part of a bigger picture. Those projects are paid for by the proceeds from the last stock sale and the loan from the NFL. The team says it's in a good financial place to make bigger projects a reality. I, I do think over the next, uh, you know, next follow the following years, you're going to see a number of different things. What what those are, you know, I'm really not in a position now to say. Now Murphy did say the Titletown district is a big deal for the Packers if it does happen. Now the district would span the length of Lombardi Avenue west of the stadium towards US 41. The anchor of the district is the Cabell, uh, sporting goods store Cabela's. It is scheduled to open tomorrow. Reporting live in Green Bay, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News.